Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following. Police are looking for two other teens connected to a shooting from Christmas Eve that killed two teens in Flint. Police say a 17-year-old was already arrested Tuesday. Family, friends, and community members holding a vigil Wednesday at the abandoned house where those teens were killed, releasing balloons and lighting candles in their honor. There are four new laws on the books in Michigan next year aiming to increase gun safety, requiring safe storage, universal background checks, extreme risk protection orders, and banning guns for people with domestic violence convictions for up to eight years. The law is going to effect in February. Former President Donald Trump will stay on the Michigan primary ballot. That's after the state Supreme Court ruled it will not hear an appeal of a lower court's ruling from groups looking to keep him off the ballot. Those groups claim Trump's role in the January 6 attack made him ineligible to be president. The group filing the lawsuit plans to refile after the primary if the U.S. Supreme Court does not issue a ruling. All right, we got meteorologist Matthew Mondra here now with your forecast. Yeah, Blake, as we go into this Thursday, still some more showery and just wet conditions across mid-Michigan. Also some fog that we've been seeing this morning, but most of the rain this morning staying on the west side of the state. We will see showers moving back into our area, though, especially as we head into the afternoon. They'll start from the southeast, moving towards the northwest, and then eventually as we go into your Friday, that rain will turn back around and start to move back towards the south, eventually clearing our skies out. Even the clouds clear out of here by Friday night. On Saturday, we'll finally see a little bit of sunshine returning to our area. Rain predictor though all the way through Friday evening still not showing too much more rain a quarter of an inch at the most but it's very saturated already so we really don't need any more rainfall at this point. By Sunday we are tracking that potential for some light scattered snow showers especially during the afternoon and the evening. Something to keep in mind if you are heading to any New Year's Eve events or parties on Sunday evening. Just keep in mind those roads will be wet but with how warm we've been this week we really aren't expecting icy roads so fortunately uh, not too many major travel issues by Sunday Monday evening. Monday, New Year's Day, that's dry, mostly cloudy, just 34. Overall, next week, much more seasonable for this time of year with highs in the 30s, lows into the 20s, and also next week looking much drier than this week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.